So today something arrived in the mail and I just thought I will just be really quick and do a little video about it. So today one of my favorite brands just sent me over from their Kickstarter campaign that I was just funding with my own money, um, the Zendur Passport 2 Pro. And this is just really exciting for me because uh, this is just the um, improved version of the um, Zender Passport 30 watt version I've already also here and I'll also just some other typical world travel adapters we can also just draw a comparison to so let's just get started right after the intro. Here we go and welcome to the idea of technology. My name is Michael and today I just want to tell you everything about this little guy here in front of me, the Passport 2 Pro, which is just pretty cool because this could be probably the right world travel adapter for you. Um, I also just have my ordinary one and the Passport 1, I could say, the 30 watt model and also just some other things like um, this Aki charger and maybe also this Hyperjuice charger I also made a video about. So if you want to check it out, um, the Hyperjuice video, also just pretty exciting, 100 watt uh, GAN charger. And this Passport 2 Pro now also comes with GAN, so that means gallium nitride. And I think the previous version, the 30 watt model was just with silicon, like um, the ordinary chargers you just typically get. Um, with your mobile phone or with your laptop, but the newer generation um, is just like with gallium nitride I also just talked about it in the Hyperjuice video. So this is just really exciting and let's just get to it. Just try to start all over again. So normally so normally what you would get is when you on a vacation and at the airport and you're just remembering well, um, I probably need a wall charger to um, have all the possibilities charging at my destination. You probably would get something like this. This is just probably one of the most famous ones um, and the most premium models um, designed in Switzerland. This is just always the premium model. So I think this just cost me at the airport 30 bucks, which is just really ridiculous comparing it to other models and solutions um, I'll talk about in a few minutes. So this just uh, boosts um, normal EU plug, the UK plug as well as US and also the Australian model. So um, and on the other side, the same thing. So this is just really stupid. Um, just the normal converter to get your plug to the right size and at the end it can output, I think it's 625 watts so just pretty okay most of the devices you will plug here anyways will probably not draw so much power. But Zendur was just thinking about, okay, we can just do something better. You probably know some things like this one here um, from Micro Novelty. I also founded it on Indiegogo, I think. This is uh, called the smallest and tiniest uh, wall travel adapter you can get because it's just pretty cool. You just get two USB Type A's and a total output of um, 5 volts, uh, 2.1 amps, so just around about 10 watts um, with both ports so um, it's not combining and 20 watts output it's just 10 watts and 5 watts each if you just split the power between these two ports but it's just super cool because it's just tiny and had this cool mechanism you can probably see here where you can just flip the prongs from the uh, US version to another standard and just put it back in. So this little guy is just pretty awesome if you just want to have something in your pocket and just be confident that you can charge your devices just really slow. So 5 watts for each part and just 10 watts total output is not so much. So um, probably there are better solutions. And better solutions is probably exactly this one here. It's the Passport um, 30 watt solution from Zendur. And the cool part is um, also like that it's black and not always these funny colors you get, o only the white versions, I don't know. But um, here you can just get all the um, similarities to the other world travel adapter, like the um, different prongs here. It's also just split up between USA and Australia, so um, the same as the model I just showed you before. Um, there are some changes with the Passport 2 Pro. Um, I will just talk in a minute, but the normal stuff here and also the normal stuff on the other side, this just probably can output around about 600 watts, so it's totally fine to put all your appliances and all your things on here. 
but the cool and the magic part is just on the bottom of it. That means you can just get three USB type A ports and just one USB type C port with 30 watts power delivery. And with 30 watts power delivery, you can just charge a lot of things. Probably not charge your laptop and probably not charge your super hefty um, no, um, um, power banks like this one. Um, you can charge it. The Zender Super Tank is just super heavy and just boosts um, 100 watt hours and that means you probably need a couple of hours to charge this up. It's still possible but with 30 watts it's more likely to go for small devices with power delivery like um, for example the way more tinier Zender Mini i fear um, this just needs 18 watts power delivery. That means way more performance into this little guy and the size comparison I think this way I think the size comparison between an ordinary um, wall charger is just obvious. It's not so much bigger and has way more performance and usability so you just basically just need this one and you don't need to switch all the other devices and just buy this here and also maybe buy another charger like this Hyperjuice where you also just have four ports or um, even more stupid just go for this Aki here has just one USB type C port and plug this one in and charge it that way. That means we are now coming to the one and only Passport 2 Pro. I'm just talking too much. Um, before this, but what this claims is just pretty cool. It also has this auto resetting fuse like the previous version with 30 watts. Um, it's now GAN powered, that means gallium nitride, not silicon. Um, I guess the previous version was just silicon. 61 watts power delivery, a fast charge global traveler, and even able to charge your USB Type C laptops. That means um, MacBook Air, or MacBook Pro 30, 30 inch. 13 inch wow and some other laptops are probably no big problem for this guy here with 60 watts you can just do a lot of things and um, they were also asked why not doing something like this and also using a 100 watt power delivery charger in this here but the answer is just pretty obvious it would be just too big and it's not that necessary that you always just have 100 watts um, I would also appreciate that there in the future there will be a Passport 3 Pro and with 100 watts in a super tiny case but uh, not at this moment. So it basically has the same ports on the bottom that means three USB type A's and one USB type C all with 12 watts um, charging capability as I remember correctly and one USB type C port on the side which can handle the 61 watt um, basically the same power you can get with this Aki charger here um, I probably think this cost me $30 only just one USB type C port and um, with power delivery and 60 watts total output and we can now draw a size comparison so th this is just really ridiculous pretty compelling so we just now finally unbox it and um, here's more stuff on the inside but we talked about everything probably um, that brings us now perfectly to the next point okay so that's it um, also just a white model it's heavier than the previous one feels way more compact and we also just get rid of one of the sliders here on the side so we now just have the uh, EU version here in the middle um, the UK model version here on the top and the US and Australian model here in the in between and also with these um, foldable prongs are on both sides so this is just pretty neat and that's just probably everything. So now we can just flip it like this, have the uh, US version. I will probably going to use um, because Australia is just so far away. That means we can just get rid of one slider. So just one part that is not, there's no possibility to fail. And you also can see already that the um, newer version is just way smaller. Um, it's, it's not that heavy. Okay, sometimes you just need to measure it by itself. So the older model is just 157 grams as you can see it, yeah. And the newer version is 177. So the newer version is heavier but it's also um, double the performance and I don't need the scale anymore. It, it feels better um, definitely and the plastic is more it's more compact it, it's heavier it's more dense and this always just feels there's some space in here 
but um, uh, nevertheless the quality of the older model is just really good and on the bottom here we have just the uh, three USB type C's as well um, three USB type A's as well as the USB type C and also here the um, as the older model, model the exact same amount of ports but the biggest difference is just that we have on the side of the newer model of the Passport 2 Pro this one USB type C port with just 61 watts and 61 watts is also just enough to charge my Surface Pro 7 you can see here on the side probably um, if you have good eyes you just notice that my Surface is lying over there and the Surface Pro 7 has just a charger with 65 watts um, total output so um, 61 is just getting really close normally I would use my Aki charger here with 60 watts um, that means no problem at all to charge my Surface Pro on the go and when I'm traveling the world so this is just really nice also this side looks a little bit um, simpler um, less complicated so we have more connectors so we're now plugging in the Euro version over here I guess and in the previous version we have just some different uh, plugs down here so they also just changed the layout and despite this you can just have the uh, size comparison for yourself um, it probably just counts for itself it's a little bit higher and um, because we just need more space down here for the circuit and just for the uh, GAN charging mechanism and everything we just need down here to have the ability to charge with 61 watts and not overheating so this is just really important and the self resetting fuse also a big bonus when we're talking about safety. So now I will just try both and see how efficient they are so probably the newer version needs to be more efficient because of the newer technology crammed into this and I will just try to charge my Surface Pro 7 as well as some other, other um, Zender products like these two power banks. If you want to see my power bank bias guide, just click the link up here. It's just, um, I think, one week old. I also just made a little giveaway of this Tau power bank over here. So I just leave it here on this side so you just get remembered and watch the video of the bias guide with power banks and just leave a comment so you can just win this little guy here because of my 1000 subscribers. So thank you very much. So now it's in like this. Um, the next part is I will just try to charge the uh, super tank with the right USB type C cable you probably also just need to focus on having the right cables you can simply measure how much power um, it's now drawing so this would be just also pretty interesting probably yeah 40 so the power bank is just at 98 uh, percent but we now just pulling off roughly 40 watts out of the wall here um, we also just get as you can see hopefully in the camera this little blue indicator light down it's not that bright and that not disturbing um, so this just should be okay so now we are currently pulling off the 60 watts um, I was talking about so 61 and we're now at full capacity here looks fine to me so now we have this maximum this little guy can pull out of the wall we have three devices my iPhone over here is just charging as well as my Surface Pro 7 and also just this um, Zender um, super mini power bank and we're just drawing the maximum I would probably um, get out of this it's just 64 watts and it's not warm at all at this point it probably just takes a couple of minutes or hours to get even warm as I mentioned and um, the newer GAN charges um, like I've also here these hyper juice even though if when I'm just loading this up with 100 watts to charge my um, super tank over here from Zendur um, it just barely gets hot despite the fact when I'm just using the normal or typical charges you probably already get um, they just getting way hotter so um, probably this is also just a big bonus for this newer models and um, you can just can get and the Passport 2 Pro is just really unique when we think about I still have this uh, possibility to also just do something stupid like this and also just use the next uh, four ports I have here on my charger as well as I have still one USB type C and one USB type A port um, left on my Zender 2 Pro um, which is just really really insane. So now the video is probably just way too long and brings it perfectly to the last point I will also just measure the difference between the power intake and the power outtake that means we're now using this little guy over here 
and plugging it directly into our uh, Surface Pro and just sees how much power gets out and how much power gets in and how much you're probably just losing for heat inside this device. Okay, so now we are getting out um, 55 watts somehow and we are pulling up roughly 61. Um, this probably just needs a couple of minutes um, that the Surface Pro is just pulling consistent rate um, out of this here. I will just probably now just start Cinebench on the Surface Pro 7 and just see how much power this will just now draw. It's now at 55 and the output here or the intake into the Zender and Passport 2 Pro is now 60 or 59.5. So this brings us now perfectly to the end of this video. Should you get one? And I can only say absolutely yes. Um, if you're really looking for a charger and you also just want to have a global travel charger and you don't, don't need to think about, okay, if I have something like this in my bag or um, do I have the ability to use the chargers I already have? And if your device is already only just need up to 60 watts, this is just perfectly fine. Maybe if you really have beefier and bigger notebook with Type-C charging, you probably also just need to consider um, something like this. Um, there's also just a solution from um, Zendur for this, um, up to 100 watts. So this is just perfectly fine. But after all, um, it really um, depends on your needs, but I only can say you have just all the ports you need, two Type-Cs, three Type-As, um, everything you just need. So I will put all the links down in the video description um, even to the older model which is just also totally fine for me and when you just need less parts and not so much power delivery just 30 watts instead of 60 watts and I will also just put the links down to use Zender power banks and as always if you dislike this video you know what to do but if you liked it hit like down there get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology and I just want to say thank you very much for watching have a great day bye